Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Evident Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead regarding products price for each store and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past couple of years, right? Three times. Okay, let's jump right in. By the way, did you notice uh, lead code has changed their interface, right? So this looks really good now, right? Okay, cool. So let's jump right in. We are given a table called products with three different columns, product ID, store and price. And these are the data types. The combined columns product ID and store is the primary key for this table. Store is an enum of type store one, two, three. So basically store column can take these three values where each represents the store this product is available at. Okay. The price is the price of the product at this store. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the price of each product in each store. The order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's jump right in, right? So here we have two different products, right? And three different stores uh, and these are their prices. So obviously if you see, what should this return? So product ID zero and then there should be three columns, store one, two and three and then their corresponding prices. So product ID in store one is 95, right? Store two is 100, store three is 105 right and then for product id 1 store 1 the value is 70 store 2 there is it is not available right so it should be null and then store 3 it should be 80 right and that is the output right so if you see basically this is kind of pivoting this table right so these rows into columns but since if you see we are using mysql here so mysql does not have any pivot function right so ms sql server has pivot function right so you can directly apply that pivot function and get the output but here since we don't have pivot function in mysql then we need to use the case when statements in this to attain this output right so how can we do this we need these values of different stores like the prices in different store for each product right so what we can do is from this product table we can start grouping by this product id right so product id 0 and 1 so these are going to be the two groups and then based on that we can use some case when statements to basically get the price and try to you know attain the output so let's start developing this query so what i'm saying is from this product table right let's group by the product id column right so product id column let's return the product id now what we are doing is let's create three columns right using the case when statement so what we are doing is basically case when the value in the store column is equal to store one then you return price else you return null right and then once you have that for each of the product groups right so since we grouped by product id so each of the product groups when you have that then you return the maximum value out of it right how will this solve this problem okay so let me just write this first and let's see how it does so what i'm saying is let's write case when store value right is equal to store one then you return the value in price column else you return null right and since you started a case when statements you need to end this and then what i'm saying is let's get the man maximum value right so max of this as store one right so we have this so basically what will this do okay so it says from products group by product id right so it says okay this these three rows basically become one group right so it says okay case when store is equal to store one then price so it will take okay store is equal to store one you take the price 95 then it goes to second row and third row so basically it also goes to this these and these values and say okay so since it is not equal to store one then null and null and then if you say maximum out of 95 null and null so that is going to be 95 right so that is what we are doing here similarly we need to do this for store 2 and store 3 as well so let let me just start you know copy paste this to, to save our time so here it becomes when equal to store 2 then store 2 and then store 3 and store 3 right 
so if you look at it from the store to perspective right so again similarly same product id right so product product id group zero and then it says okay so store is equal to store one so it is a null store three null store two right so null null is hundred maximum you get that right similarly for three now let's see how this null is coming right so now product id group one right so product id group one it says okay so store one so it is null store two not present store three null so maximum out of null and null is null right so that is how it is giving you the output so yeah, and since we don't need to order this by anything so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output right let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it right so the question is very simple all you need to do is basically try to pivot this but since you don't have pivot function in mysql then you need to use some other function where we are using case when statements along with an aggregate function called max and this is how we do it let me know if you know a better way or a more efficient way to solve this also my question is instead of using max here can you do this using sum or any other aggregate function and let's say you write sum here right let's say you don't change anything in this you just replace max with sum in these three lines right so from the way that i described it is going to be let's say store one value was 95 plus null plus null so how is 95 plus null plus null returning 95 and not null right because if you write select 2 plus null it is going to return null so let me know in the comment section how that is working or is there a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video